Hey, Gold Rush fans. Well, episode 6, Ice Cold Gold, is in the book. Let's break it down into three parts. Part 1, Breakfast for Dinner. Time is of the essence, and now the dreaded night shift has begun for two of the miners, Matt and Luke. These are two miners that we haven't seen before. The temperature keeps dropping, and unfortunately, this is the only way. Honestly, this is something I feel that should have been started from the beginning. You know, working night shift is not an easy task, because your body wants to sleep. This is when most accidents can happen. Time will tell if Matt and Luke can handle the nights. Good luck, fellas. Part 2. Did something break? The first thing we see is that Hot Mess is frozen and not operating. She is frozen solid and could be done for the year. This leaves Z-Plant and the Test Trommel. Not the ideal situation to end the year on a positive note. Luckily, Todd and his team did not waste any time trying to figure out how to get Hot Mess unfrozen and focus their efforts on the Test Trommel and Z-Plant. So... Good job, fellas, on not wasting a moment. Now, the ongoing battle for the miners has been the breakdowns. Hunter said, we can't even work five hours without something breaking. To me, someone or something needs to be held accountable. Here are my three. Number one, the most obvious choice that most people would think of is the weather, and nothing runs at its best when it's cold. But the breakdowns happened well before the cold weather even happened. Number two, the lack of keeping up with the equipment was going on well before the Hoffmans even showed up. And from what we were told is they did not have the time to do the maintenance because of one person. Number three, to me, this is the most obvious reason. It's Jason. Now, Jason thinks from a business side of mining, where a penny saved is a penny in the bank. But, you know, if you have breakdowns and the mine keeps coming to a halt, are you really saving pennies or are you losing thousands of dollars? This is something to think about. Part 3. Gold In the previous video, I predicted less than 47 ounces of gold, and I like when I'm wrong. This time, unfortunately, I was right. The miners got... 40 ounces of gold bring their total to 199 ounces mined and a grand total of 499. With a few weeks left of the mining season, they need 101 ounces or 50.5 ounces per week. It's going to be a battle to get the gold if their primary trauma is out. All right, everybody, this has been a gold rush minute. And if you like the content, please click the Gold Rush Minute circle that's on the right side of your screen. Here is another video from the Gold Rush Minute Library. Till the next time.